Hello, Saeed here. Welcome to another CCNA Cyber Ops Lab. In this lab, I will be introducing you to Wireshark. But before then, some of the objective of this lab is to be able to install and verify the Mininet topology, which we will see very soon, and then capture and analyze ICMP data in Wireshark. The Cyber Ops VM includes a Python script that um, when you run it, it will set up and configure some devices for you. Now, the particular script that I will be running here will give access to four hosts, a switch, and a router. Now, before we even begin capturing and analyzing ICMP data in Wireshark, first of all, what is Wireshark? The Wireshark is simply a software protocol analyzer or simply called packet sniffer application. So it is used for network troubleshooting, analysis, software and protocol development and education. Wireshark is a useful tool for anyone working with net networks for data analysis and troubleshooting. Now I'll be using Wireshark to capture ICMP data packet in a bit. Now the required resources for this lab is CyberOps VM and um, you need an internet access. So it is not that necessary, but you should have it as a bonus. So the part one of this lab will be able to see how to install and verify the Mininet topology. All right, on my VM, I will use the password CyberOps to log in. And then from my command prompt, I will run the Python script. So sudo lab.support.files slash script slash cyberops underscore top four dot py. So this will give me this topology, will configure all these devices as seen. Now, after entering the command, I need to enter the password of um, for analysts, which is cyber ops. So this will create this topology. Will create this topology. We have um, a router, which is the R1. We have a switch, which is the switch, which is the S1. And then H1, H2, H3, and H4 as the host. So it add all the links and it creates the network and all the hosts and adding switches and all that. So this is the, the script I was talking about. So, but we need to understand or we need to know the exact IP address or the MAC address of each host. How do we do that? Simply just from the Mininet CLI, we enter this XTAM space H1 to run or to open the command prompt of host one and then we'll do the same for host two x down h2 so this will open up a command prompt now from the h1 which is the first host and then enter this command f config so from there i'll enter if config and hit enter from my keyboard so this will show me the ip address which is the inet right now this is the ip address yours might be different and uh, the mac address is the one with eta so you see ETA, then followed by the MAC address, which are the most important thing for this lab to note. So we now have the IP address and the MAC address. Now the MAC address will also differ. It might change. It might be not be the same as mine, but that is how to find the MAC address. So you do the same for host 2, which is the H2. Now, after recording or knowing the IP address and the MAC address of the two hosts, and then try to capture and analyze the ICMP data in Wireshark. Now, before we use Wireshark extensively, we need to understand the environment. So the top, this Wireshark, this Wireshark is being um, segmented into two or three parts. You have the top, you have the middle, and you have the bottom. So the top section displays the list of PDU frames captured with a summary of the IP packet information listed. Now the second part, which is the middle, the middle section lists the PDU information for the frame selected in the top part of the screen and separate a captured PDU frame by its protocol layer. That is the middle section. Now the third section or the bottom section displays the raw data of each layer. The raw data is displayed in both hexadecimal and decimal form. Now the most important part of this lab is to be able to identify uh, the protocol which is obviously we are going to filter it down to icmp which we'll see in a bit and then get to know the the kind of header for example the ethernet header or the ethernet 2 header which is which is located at the middle section section 
of the Wireshark. Now from my H1, I'll now enter this command Wireshark dash GTK space ampersand. So this would now launch this. So the warning is not part of our problems here. So we just click, I'll just click OK. Now in the Wireshark window, under the capture heading, then I'll select the H1 dash or hyphen eta zero, which is like the interface or the interface, the Ethernet interface of host one. And then I'll click start to capture the data traffic of that interface. Now, after running the Wireshark, you need to enter, I'll now press enter from my keyboard to get the, the prompt back. Then I'll type a ping. I'll use the command ping space dash C space five. The dash C there is there to specify or is uh, it allows me to specify how many packet I want to send. Right now, I will, I will enter five. Then followed by the destination IP address, which in this case, it is the IP address of the second host. So the ping, the H2. So, so the five there specify the five pings should be sent. Now, I will go to my Wireshark and then click stop to stop the packet capture and then go to the filter and then type in ICMP in the filter box and then click on apply. So this will filter down all the traffic of ICMP protocol or all the traffic of the ICMP. Right now we only have the ICMP because it has been filtered down to ICMP. Now with this PDU frame still selected, now if you select the first one or the top one, now with the first now with the first frame being selected in the top section and now go to the middle section and click the arrow to allow the left of the Ethernet 2 road to view the destination and source MAC address. So if you look closely, you will find out that the MAC address of the source is the MAC address of host 1 and the destination MAC address is the MAC address of host 2. So that is that. That is how to record or to see the, the MAC addresses in Wireshark. So that is how to ping a network or that, that is how to observe or capture data on the same network. Now, but there are some instances that you need to capture data that are not on the same network or not on the same local area network, but on a remote network. So how do we do that? Now you go back to the mininet and then start the host 4, which is the H4. Now X term space H4 and then start the router 1 or enter the, the command X term space R1 to get to get a terminal window of the R1 and H4. Now at the prompt of um, node H4 and then enter the command IF config. So this command IF config reveals the IP address as well as the MAC address of that particular host. So that is that. Now I'm going to do the same in the case of um, the R1, which is the router one. So if I enter the IF config, I'll get to see that the router one does have two interfaces. It has ETA1 and ETA2. So now the H4 is being connected to the ETA2, which is on the 172.16.0.1 network. So that is um, where H4 is located or is connected to. Now start a new Wireshark on H1. So now start a new Wireshark captured. Now I'll enter ping dash C space five, then enter the destination address, which is this. So if you, I, so if you, I come to check the, the capture, the ICMP captured. So now go to my Wireshark and then check the source address and the destination address. So now the source IP address is supposed to be the IP address of host one and the destination IP address is supposed to be the IP address of host four. So, but the MAC address would, would be different. Instead of having the MAC address of host four or H4, in this case, I'm having the MAC address of router interface. Why? Because the router interface is the, diff is the gateway of the host four. So that is why I'm having the MAC address of router interface instead of the MAC address of the host 4. So after after getting all this information, I now go back to my Cyber Ops VM window, then enter quit to stop the mininet from my command line or from my command prompt. Now after quitting, I will now clean up the or clean up all the processes 
that we are used by meaning it. So I enter this command sudo mn dash c. And then I have to specify sometimes it will ask you the password of um cyber analyst, which is cyber ops, and then it will remove every processes that was used by meaning it. So look at the cleanup complete. All right, that is how to install and verify the Mininet topology and the CyberOps VM. And then we also saw how to capture and analyze ICMP data in Wireshark. I hope you gained something from this uh, video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you like it. And um, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.